First you enquire like this, then you close and disable. First you cl close and disable. So close, disable, open, enable. Okay, basically the file which you are using in TSO region should be allocated to online and it should be opened. Only if the file is opened in online, you will be able to use in programs. First you have to allocate the file, you have to connect G01 file 1 to some data set name in TSO region and then you have to make sure it is opened and enabled. Apart from open and enable, it should be available for reading, updating, deleting. It's based on what your uh, what operations are doing. Here, as far as this file is concerned, it is enabled only for reading, since it is given us read. So, if you want to, if you are going to, I mean, use for updating or writing or deleting, you have to just make sure you mention a uh, while defined. So, first you have to close and disable. Then we have cmt set command. So what I'll do, I'll just note down because you are going to do this on your own. Cmt set file dsn equal to it's not dsn, it's going to just give ds data set name. Take any KSDS file which is working. So we are connecting this file with the data set. It says normal. Okay, first you rewrite this command. It's going to be CEMT set. Before that, CEMT enquire file G hash hash file 1. And then close and disable the file. Then you have to write this command. So if you write this command, it is going to it is going to set the file name. Now now what you have to do, you have to open and enable. So again you have to go into enquire. CMT. Okay, we can write like this also. Set open enable read. I think this will work. So it's one shot. You can do like this. Okay, let's let me okay I'll try one more program one more file since I have access to your files I don't have access only to your DB2 tables but I have access to your files the CMT set I'll take G02 so G02 emp.ksts Okay, let's give this straight away. It's not working. First, what you have to do? First, you have to enquire. Enquire file G02 file 1. Make it as close, disable. Then press F3. See, F3 means it's a sound volume button. Then, what you do? Write this full command. So G02 file 1 gamma 02.emp.ksds open enable read. It's going to work. So these are two commands you are going to write. 
first cmt enquire your file name close and disable the file name and then finally you are going to set everything in one shot take your pdf i mean uh, go to tso so now it's open and enable okay even you can, you can write a command you can use cca also okay cca also you can use let me show you is op why it is showing empty the is the file empty session ended so what is cca stands for command execution command interpreter so you can interpret any command read file i am using my file name read file g01 file 1 Into is not required. Into is required only in programming. R I D F L D. R I D F L D D X C zero zero one. This is syntax, right? Read file file name into working storage structure. R I D F L D something. So if you can test any command in online, just give C E C I in front of the command. So C E C I stands for command execution command interpreter. It's very little difficult to, I mean, check the state, check whether program. I mean, file is going. I mean, kix command is going to work through program. So instead, what you have to do, you have to make sure you C C I command to check the command, check whether the command is working. So instead of checking through program, so it says about to execute command. So D X C zero zero one is what? Who who is in D X C zero zero one? So it brought a month response is normal. So this is nothing but DFH response of normal. Actual response code is plus these many zeros. It's nine of ten. If I give DFH response, say it's seven. Sanjeeva. So it is. See, it is working. You see. so file is working command is working that's how you have to know you can write all the commands like we we use send command for send map similarly you can execute any command here using cci you can write command also you can write you can write a command you can write a record through this so now the file is opened in online right my file is opened in online so which is my file If you want to know which is the file, C M T Enker file G zero one file one. So this file is opened in online. Online is a separate region, and enabled in online. And it could we can do only reading. If you want to do some other option, there is something called update, delete, insert. I think insert means write. So keywords ignored. Okay, we have to close, uh, disable, and then add the other options. Okay, I'll probably I'll show you. What I'll do, I'll just close, close, disable. Now you can add option, update, add, add means write, and uh, delete. So it is normal. So update means we can do a rewrite. Add means you can do a write. Read means you can do a read. Similarly, you can write here also. If you write here space add, you can write a record through online. So now I'm going to open the file. Open, enable. So file is opened in online. If you find if you open the file in online, this file cannot be opened in batch in TSO region. i'm copying this file opening file manager see it says some i mean open failure because the file is allocated to online it says data set is in use 
visa ang open error. <coughs> Suppose I close here. Close, disable. Now it's properly closed and disabled. Now you, if I press enter, it will open the file. So you have to know, understand this. When file is open in online, we cannot use a, open the file in batch. So file cannot be, no batch job can run. Because the first, first command in any batch program for a VZAM file is open command. Open command will fail. So a file which is allocated to online cannot be accessed. So no batch jobs will be running during daytime. Batch jobs will be running only in the night time, which is accessing VZAM files. But batch jobs for DB2 tables can run in daytime also. But when DB2 table is allocated to online, generally we never do I mean, updates in a batch. We just read, read, well, a select command will be there. So update job will not be running. Update job will be running only in the night time. And VSAM program will never run during daytime. So now what we will do, you can use your same employee file, I mean, map as an input. Now instead of having, instead of DB2 table, you change as a VSAM file. But before adding the VSAM file, you have, you have to log on to Kix region, enquire the file name. So you use your ID to enquire the file name. First you close disable, then you execute this command. This command is going to link the logical file name with the DSN. Take a proper DSN from TSO region, then the file is allocated to online and it is opened, enabled for reading. Since we are just going to read, this is enough. If you want to go to write also, write means you have to write add here. Add, UPD, etc. Update means rewrite. 